Shortly before setting off, I bump into fellow comic Mark Steele. Mark is my favourite comic working in Britain at the moment, and he is amazing, and you should go and see him if you get the chance. I bump into him in the BBC canteen, although the location sounds unpromising, I know that if anyone can offer political perspective on my potential walk around the Israeli barrier in the West Bank, it's Mark. What have you got coming up then, he says, asking the perennial question that comics ask of each other. I'm going to write a book, I'm going on a ramble. Oh yeah, where to? I explain that I'm going to ramble along the Israeli barrier on both sides. And he laughs, spluttering in disbelief. What's the matter with you? Why can't you just write a joke? He blurts out in his London twang, and I grin powerless before the oncoming terrain. Oh no, you couldn't write a joke, he stirs, red-faced with incredulity, because anyone could write a joke, couldn't they? You have to do something with a mission. You have to make it difficult. You have to do something that no one else would do. Oh, I'm going to walk to Afghanistan, he starts impersonating me. I'm going to walk to Afghanistan, but more than that, to make it interesting, I'm going to do what I'm going to do as I'm going to do it without shoes, and I'm going to find Osama Bin Laden. But anyone could do that, so I'm going to make it even more difficult. I'm going to give myself even more of a mission. What I'm going to do I'm going to find him, take him prisoner, make a cabaret club in a cave, and then I'm going to get an entertainment license from the Taliban, open a venue, then strap Osama Bin Laden to a chair and make him laugh. But more than that, I'll force Osama Bin Laden to laugh so much that his cock drops off and I will have defeated Al-Qaeda. And only then will I be happy because no one else will have done that. No one else can do that. And he pauses and looks at me, shaking his head. Well, fucking hell, why can't you just write a joke, go on stage and tell it?